Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me an email off of a video that I didn't even look at the video, but I must have blended it and they're having trouble getting rid of the line and the blend. And, and they gave me some of the measurements, but they didn't give me the measurement on the size of the circle. They gave me a five inch circle. They want this circle three sixteenths off the edge and, and then 35. It's funny because it could be 36 to be an eagle but it'll still work. So I drew a circle, I'm gonna hit P. I put it in the center of the page. I'm gonna select everything. I'm gonna hit T like in Tom. Now go to your nudge distance and type in uh, three backslash 16. And now you've got 1.88 It'll drawn out. It'll be the right amount. And then grab that and nudge it down. That is three sixteenths off the edge, because because Kirill did the math. Let's just kind of prove it here a little bit by taking the parallel dimension tool and go from that quadrant to that quadrant. Is rounded off at 19, but if we if we go to a little further out, it's 18.75 point or point 18.75, which is three sixteenths of an inch. Now all you have to do is double click on this and move your rotation. I've been playing around with it, so that's why they jump. But now it's in the center of the screen. Easiest thing to do is open up the transformation docker. So go to Windows, Dockers, Transform or Transformation in yours. I've already got the angle in there, but all I had to do was, and before I do that, he, they want 35. It says, whenever Corel asks for copies, meaning it's going to leave the original. So we want 35, so we've already got one, so we want 34. Same thing here, 360 backslash 35. Look at that. There's 30, and if you ever want to, instead of counting your item, you can move your circle all the way and select everything. And if you look, I've got 35 objects. So it's 35 spaced easily, equally out. And Corel did the math, which is 10.86. And if you, you know, if you set your calibration to even longer decimals, it's going to be right on because these things are perfect. Uh, one way you could always prove it, you could always group this together, control G, control D and hit a duplicate, make the, the one duplicate black and then rotate it, get a rotation and make it, 360 backslash 35 and it moved it, but they're still right on top. I don't know if that made any sense, but it rotated it right on top of each other. So you, every circle is still on top. So if we go that, you know, 10.82, you can see it's off just a little bit, but if you do it by 360, you know, I'm, I'm probably going, I should, so forward slash 35, and it's moving in that 10 point. I might've said backslash a while ago, but whenever you put in your deal, it's forward slash, which on my keyboard is the forward slash is underneath the triangle. So if you look, it's just, I mean, every circle is perfectly mentioned or perfectly in the same spot. So that'll work, but don't always forget to move that other copy out of the way or delete it so you won't have one copy. And one way to always check that would be to see we have a group of 36 items. So that's correct because you got one item is the outside circle and the 35 inner circles. And you can do that with any amount of circles, any size of circles. Uh, you could do it with control D, but when you're working with those type of fractions and your Corel asks you for the Next step, you know, if you were rotating a quarter, you know, like a, a 10 degrees, and then it's going to ask you to rotate it again, you have to type in 20. It's a little more difficult with those longer uh, decimal points. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.